A lot of dog owners choose to use chicken as a protein source in their homemade dog food. It's very inexpensive. It's easily available at almost every store, so it's easy to get your hands on. Um, if you are looking for a healthy homemade dog food recipe with chicken, this is a great one. It's very simple to make. It's limited ingredient and it's ideal for most dogs. To start this healthy homemade dog food recipe, you're going to add about a tablespoon of coconut oil to a skillet, and you are going to have your stove on medium heat. Once your coconut oil melts in your skillet, you're going to add a pound of chicken that you, this is boneless, obviously boneless, skinless chicken that you have sliced. Um, I'm using boneless, skinless breasts. You could also use chicken thighs, any kind of boneless chicken. I mean, if you want to pick the chicken off the bone, I guess you could use bone in it. doesn't really matter, but obviously you're going to cook it uh, with no bones in it and you're going to slice it up. Now, this is for our Labrador Retriever who weighs about 70 pounds. She's a big dog and has no trouble chewing large pieces of chicken. If you have a small breed dog, you're going to want to slice your chicken to meet your dog's needs. So these are big slices, um, but of course, if you have a little dog, make sure that you chunk those up a little bit smaller for your pet. And we're just going to cook this until the chicken is thoroughly cooked. Once the chicken's fully cooked, you can add the rest of the ingredients. You're going to need a half a cup of canned pumpkin. You can use fresh pumpkin if you happen to have it. And if you buy canned, just make sure that you're getting 100% pumpkin. Look for something that's organic. Uh, you don't want to do the pumpkin pie filling that has all kinds of added sweeteners and ingredients that aren't good for your dog. So half a cup of canned pumpkin. I have half a cup of green beans. Actually, that was a whole cup of green beans. Sorry about that. Whole cup of green beans. I have a cup of beets. I knew that looks like a lot for half a cup. So, a cup of green beans, a cup of beets. The, this is two zucchini that I have cut into chunks. And as you can see, I left the um, rind right on that. The peels are still there. I leave them on. There's a lot of added nutrition in the um, the outside of all vegetables, so when you peel it, you do remove some of the nutrients. So I try not to do that. Um, and then I have, this is cooked quinoa, and it was one cup of dry quinoa, and you cook it according to the instructions on the packaging. Um, you just boil it, and then you add it to this recipe once it is fully cooked. Obviously, it's more than a cup now once it boils and it opens up um, and expands, it becomes more than a cup, so it's probably a cup and a half to two cups now. Um, quinoa is similar to rice in that way. If you have a cup of dry rice, it's going to cook up to be more than that. So I'm just going to stir this around a little bit, um, and then what we're going to do is just cover it, let it simmer for about 10 minutes on low heat, that's going to get your vegetables all um, softened up and it's ready to feed your dog. Our Labrador Sadie loves this healthy homemade dog food with chicken. If you guys have any questions about this recipe, feel free to email me. My address is samantha at topdogtips.com. The serving size for this recipe is about a half a cup for every 25 pounds of body weight. So our 75 pound Labrador gets one and a half cups in the morning and one and a half cups in the evening. You could split that into three smaller one cup meals if you'd prefer to do that as well. You can store this food in the refrigerator in an airtight container for about five days or you can make it in bulk and store it in the freezer in an airtight container for about three months.